Yo, for those of you who don't know, there's a Kickstarter going on right now for an animated short film uh, for the webcomic Lackadaisy, which if you haven't heard of, it's a great webcomic about cats who are bootleggers during Prohibition era. It's great. And uh, if you're an OG fan, you might remember that mo years and years ago, uh, I used to do comic dubs of this comic, uh, and I am very proud uh, to say that I am going to be attached to the project uh, as Mordecai Heller, the voice of Mordecai. Uh, so that's pretty surreal, um, especially considering I used to fan dub that character uh, years and years ago. Uh, so it's an honor to be asked to uh, voice the character in an official capacity. Anyways, if you're interested, go check out the Kickstarter. Uh, again, it's a wonderful comic. There are stretch goals, including a uh, bonus scene for Mordecai, if we hit that milestone. So I haven't voiced Mordecai in a while, so I, uh, I grabbed my mic, and uh, right now the comic is currently very Mordecai-centric in its pages, so I grabbed a page, grabbed my mic, and uh, threw together a little something-something for old time's sake. Uh, but yeah, go check out the Kickstarter. Uh, I would really appreciate it. You knew I was a jewel thief? Yes. Well, it turns out when they catch you, they don't let you keep the jewels. There's no buried treasure if that's what this is about. I have no interest in pilfered rocks. What then? Your boss gets my dues on time and in full. So, my margins are slim. I got nothing for you. We'll see. Why here? Thematic irony? It's conveniently inert. And a pitiable mess, but no one will hear you. Also, the lagering caves are suitable for storage. With your leg injury, they'd be a veritable oubliette. That assumes a more prolonged process than would be expedient, however. If my colleagues reappear, they're liable to disrupt. They think I'm having fun. They wouldn't understand my need for... What? Some kind of deranged... Illumination. Of late, I've been tasked with tying up an unusually large quantity of loose ends. As you have no doubt ascertained, you're one of them. But in your case and the others, I don't know why. What put you on my list? So I've compiled some research. Court records, property records. There are possible answers here, but I need more direct insight. It's perhaps unwise, unorthodox, unprofessional to pry. But I don't know if I know some things I thought I knew. Important things. You want me to help finish your book report? About why you're supposed to murder me? To put your mind at ease? Yes. 